Hello, my name is Ishmael Carmago. I am doing my very first E Sleep Play Talk with and Repeat. My topic is Has Austin C killed the X Division Championship? The time has come once again for Tina to put its original showcase division on display. Over the years, Tina has gotten on the map thanks to its X Division and High Flying, No Limits matches that come with it. However, in the f last few years, the division has fallen off the map and really hasn't been as interesting anything as it used to be. This problem was always in motion for years but then something happened in 2012 that changed everything. In the summer of 2012, Arthur Edwards was the longest reigning exhibition champion in the town's history. However, he wanted to leave somewhere and was given two options. He could keep the exhibition title or cast it in for a world title side at Disney's X 2012. Edwards kept awesome C. He would cast in as long as this became awesome for the X Division Champion every year going forward. Jim made Hulk Hogan agreed to the terms and a new concept was born. This concept had been the worst thing to ever happen to the X Division in its, its championship. In both years since the month before, Disney X has seen the title change hands at least once. In 2013, Chris Evans won the title and lost it three weeks later to suicide with his artist and match. Then went back a week later, allowed him to cast the title in for a set at the world title. Sipping won the world title early for a month, then dropped it back to Broadway for four weeks later. He was released from Tina about six months later. Following Sipping breaking the bell, a series of matches were held to crown a new champion. Maddox won the championship, held the title for three months, successfully defended it once on TV, then lost it at Bomb Glory. The new champion, Chris Sabin, traded the title with Arthur Ayers a few times in a series of short matches on Impact. Ayers came, <coughs> came away with the goal, only to lose it to Sanana as so that they in America for four months. In 2014, Arthur Ayers has taken the title from longest reign champion Sanana and will gladly cast in the title in a few weeks. Ayers vs. Sanana was in was an entertaining match, but if last year's in the end case and it means that we came for another series of matches before the title stops me anything for months. The only question would be can the new team hold the title until Distance and X? This is a problem that RC presents with Distance X taking place every summer. The title almost distant match until early July, as that we stuck sent through a long series of meaningless touches and and matches that aren't given enough time or prominence to matter. Arthur has won the X-Men title five times now. Four of these rings have come in last year and none of them have after more than three months. The other issue that Austin C presents is a vacated title. While this happens a lot in this case, it's even worse as the champion was never defended oh, excuse me. Was never defeated for his title. Instead we have a group of wrestlers fighting to become champion, but none of them ever defeated the former champion for the for the title. Whoever becomes X Division Champion has beaten a lower class of talent and made them much more of a paper champion than anything else. However, there are a few there are a few easy options to solve this problem. The easy of all is very simple. Let the X Division Champion keep the title. While this doesn't prevent the title reign from meaningless in the meantime, it does keep the title looking strong in the champion legitimate. If if the extra champ wins the world title, then this will drop the extra title of course, but otherwise keep the title's opponents intact. The second alternative is a bit more complicated, but will make things much better. If the extra, if the X division champion can successfully defend the title at several miles times, let's say seven, seven for, for just a sample, they'll allow to change to chance for the world title one time only. This solves several problems as well as cost a few perks. Above all else, it builds up a new talent tree. If there's one thing Tina needs, is some fresh blood at the top of the car. By having someone wear a series of matches rather than a single match or being put in the one container, it makes the talent tree look like a perfect win who has arrived at zero points and earned a chance at the title. It will also keep things active. Instead of the title being forgotten about four weeks, in most of time, this method will get an active tile, yet not worth the tile side. Even if someone were to 
successfully defend the tower once a week, it will take nearly two months before a tower mass could be reached. This, of course, assuming that the tower wants to defend weekly, you might get nervous about putting the tower in streak online, which creates a few other possibilities. While there are countless other options, Awesome C continues to, to only provide a review of entertainment and drama throughout the course of the year. While it can be a fun moment without the temple being built over time, the tower becomes more of a part than usual. Why should I care about, all, about the tower all of a sudden when the West haven't treated it like something that happens for so many months? Make it about the West end instead of the counter and things will get better. That's for me, strewn from the heart by the exclusion championship. Leave a lot of comment about the topic at hand. See you later.